That shot not only added a win to Troy's record, but it gave Georgia State their first conference loss of the season. Head coach Phil Cunningham reflects on Troy's performance from Saturday evening's game. First of all, I thought it was a great college basketball game. Uh, two really good teams going at it. One thing we told our guys at halftime, we said th these, are, these are two of the best teams in the Sun Belt going at it. We said, hey, they're going to make a run, we're going to make a run. They, they, the way they score the ball, you know, don't be shocked if they go on an 8-0 run, a 9-0 run, but we've got to be hard-headed and, and just, just stay, stay in the game. This game included 13 lead changes and was tied seven times. For both the Trojans and the Panthers, their points in the paint was the reason it remained this intense, yet both teams struggled with free throws. The Panthers missing one of their last free throw attempts gave senior Jordan Bernardo the confidence he needed to knock down the game-winning shot from beyond top of the key. Um, the play was designed for me to get the ball at the end. Um, we thought he was going to make both of the free throws at the end. Um, so it was just a good good strategy from our coaching standpoint, and I just stepped up to hit the shot. Man, what can you say about Jordan Bernardo? Uh, he, just the kind of senior year he's having, uh, I don't think anybody in our program, it didn't, didn't surprise him at all, they stepped up and made that shot. This 77-75 to 75 win for the Trojans sends the team off as their next three games are on the road. It's, it's ULM on the road, Lafayette on the road, at South. Like, well, we, better, we better win this game. And, uh, and, and we, needed, we needed to win just to stay alive, but we, just, we needed it for a confidence standpoint as well.